Hello friends, welcome to Dosaka. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. So in today's edition, we're going to talk about the Ghana 4x100 relay team. They got disqualified in the relay in the Olympic Games. So the morning session is over and we can finally talk about that Team Ghana performance in the 4x100 meter relay heat. Obviously, the team has been disqualified after they finished set, and there is a lot of conversation about how it happened. Um, I'm just going to say that I think that this was a um, this was the messiest team Ghana race I have ever witnessed, and I've witnessed the birth of this team from Rabat in 2019 all the way till now. This is about the worst race they've ever had in terms of execution. The relay races are not about who has the fastest athlete. Being fast and getting the changeover smoothly are mutually inclusive. You have to get the two of them together before you can do well. And in this race, Ghana's changes let them down. I have seen Team Ghana make a mistake in one leg of the changeover. In this race, they made two mistakes in two places of the changeover. The first changeover between Rashid and Azamati was so bad. Azamati, uh, Rashid had to call twice for Azat to take, and Azat had to slow down to take the baton. When Rashid first called Azat for the first changeover, he was taking the baton at the same time as the Chinese who finished first. So if that first changeover was smooth, Team Ghana had a chance of actually winning the race. That wasn't smooth. They tried twice, got it on the second try. The second changeover between Azamati and Husseini was smooth. It was the smoothest of all the changes. But then, when Husseini took the baton, I don't know what it was, whether it was nerves, he stumbled a little bit halfway into his race. And then when he came to hand over the baton to uh, Joe Paul, Joe took off a little too early. And Husseini, I'm not sure what the issue was, but he also hesitated a little bit in handing over the baton to Joe Paul. So Joe Paul, by the time he took the baton, he was already out of the exchange zone and he had to even slow down to take the baton. So it did two things. It took the momentum, it didn't optimize speed for the outgoing runner, and it also meant that they exchanged the baton outside of the zone. So in the end, it was quite useless um, and worthless uh, because even uh, Joe Paul admitted at the end of the race that the moment they finished the race, he looked at Fuseni and he told him that he thought they would be DQ because he knew it was outside the changeover zone when he took over that baton. So in the end, this was a very, very disappointing race. The boys themselves know that, they've admitted that much. And I think the, a bit of inexperience uh, let them down. And Joe Paul said that maybe the atmosphere might have gotten to them a little bit in the sense that they couldn't hear themselves when they were shouting Han uh, for the changeovers because the atmosphere I told you guys in the preview with France in there it was deafening inside the stadium but it's not an excuse that will easily watch because Ghana was not the only team running under that atmosphere every other team faced exactly the same conditions China got their changes smoothly they won first place I told you again that China was a big threat even Jamaica didn't qualify from this heat. Uh, it was the slowest of the two heats, Ghana's heat. So even if Ghana had finished four, I don't think they would have had a chance of qualifying because the heat overall was so slow. There were five teams from the first heat that actually qualified. So in the end, um, it was as bad as you all thought it was. Everyone knows that. And uh, this is the first time that this team has gone to a major competition as a real team and have not made the final. The last time they didn't make the final was in Birmingham and that was not because they didn't run well to make the final. They made the final only to get disqualified. This is the first time ever since this team emerged in 2019 that they've gone to a major competition and have failed to make the final. And that includes World Championships, Olympic Games, 
African Championship, African Games. So, if anything at all, they deserve a little bit of respite. A new team is coming. Uh, they're building a new team. Jopo Azimati, they've been around since 2019. You can tell that they are new members in the team and I think that we need to encourage them. Obviously today it didn't go according to plan, but there are lessons to be learned. We will get some answers, of course, on the change of personnel and the order from the team that run at the World Relays. I don't want to be a bit presumptuous by accusing people of making changes they shouldn't have. I didn't see what happened in training, so I don't know what motivated the changes. But in the coming days, we will get those explanations. But for now, I'm just going to say disappointing, yes. But I don't think that we should kill the boys too much. Um, let's encourage them. And uh, They've given us a lot of good times in the past. It didn't work out today. And that's just life sometimes. And that's sport, really. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Even Jamaica didn't qualify. That's not to say that, that's not to justify our position, but I'm saying that I'm sure Jamaica, with what they are used to, they would have even had bigger expectations of qualifying, but they didn't. But nobody's gonna get killed in Jamaica. They move on, and so should we. Yeah, hello guys, welcome to Dosoka. So for those of you who know in the world of sports, in the athletics and sports, there's the ongoing Olympics. So for those of you who follow the Olympics, lovers of the track events, an African has made history, if you didn't know. An African from Botswana, Letile Tebogo, has made history. He's won Africa's first ever goal in the 200 meters final. He also played sit in the 100 meters final against the same Noah Laos that he won the 200 meters final with. This 100 meters final was the most intense ever with both first and second having 9.79 points. But let's leave that for later. So it will intrigue you to know that for him winning the 200 meters final, <laughs> for him winning the 200 meters final, it is surprising me, it surprises me, it baffles my mind, how some countries invest, invest a lot in their players. Like in serious so just for winning this award, Letile Tobogo has won a four-bedroom house from the Botswana government. One million Pula. That's 75,000 US dollars. Pula is their country's currency in Botswana. 75,000 US dollars from a, from a local company in Botswana. 3,600 US dollars from the I, uh, Athletics Committee for reaching the 100 meters and 200 meters final. And then... There's a national holiday in his name in Botswana. That is outrageous. Huh. To make it more interesting too, Nigeria, <laughs> just as Ghana's poor performance, Nigeria's Tobia Musa was not able to qualify for the 100 meters hurdles. Final. Looking at how she qualified with the best time in Africa, how good she has been this season, last season at the IEF Diamond League and all that. She couldn't qualify. She couldn't qualify because she had the best time in the heat, but there were other heats that had better time than she did. So she couldn't qualify. And sadly, to their 4x400 four meters relay team qualified for the final, but they were disqualified. They were... <laughs> hey, Africa, sometimes it's just so surprising. I don't know what follows us. I just don't understand. They qualified for the final, but it appears that... There was an infringement, so they've been disqualified. So, which means that they will not be participating in the 4x400 final with Botswana. That's so sad. And Tobia Musa as well. But then, in all, this Olympics has been a great one. And then, looking back at Tokyo with no fans, you realize that the momentum behind the French team, prior to this. You don't even realize that the French team were even good at 4x100 release. But I think that the momentum behind them, and it has been a fantastic Olympic so far. Looking back at how it started, notwithstanding Ghana's poor performance, but in the end, we realized that 
there's more room for improvement.